joining us in the broadcast booth, Dave Bronsley, Perfect Games Vice President of Player Personnel. My name is Darren Sutton. Lenny Torres takes the rock and he rolls. He's a young man too. He is not yet 17 years old, still 16. David Ronsley, St. John's commit out of Beacon, New York, and he is one of a handful that will have a chance to make Team USA as well. This is a big arm in Lenny Torres. He's a perfect game All-American. Uh, his Cadets Baseball Academy Travel Club is a good one. Yeah, he's a he's a young man. He has a young body. It's almost a middle infielder's body. We've been looking at these, you know, Kumar Rockers and Jonathan Childress and Mike Vassals. This is a this is a lean, wiry kid who would look like a middle infielder. The velocity comes very easy, mid 90s. Um, it comes out of his hand very very well, and he also has a feel for that slider as, as a strike strikeout pitch. St. John's was his choice all along. He was thrilled when they offered him. He took it right away. He was very excited. He, he, he's, a, he's a younger kid. He's, he's a Gen Zer, but he's a baseball card collector. Those young men still exist, and the folks at Leaf love that. Certainly, Leaf trading cards. Jordan Groshans with that big power out of Texas. And he is a Kansas commit. So you like the pace of this game, Outlider? Oh, don't you? I thought you might. We got the gas lamp right behind here. We got a nice little dinner quickly. You know, you were, we were talking a little bit about MLB, and I can't let the cat out of the bag too much, nor can you, or you'll get me in trouble. But maybe as that one's crushed to left field, we talked about the strength, and it's gone. He did it at the National Showcase. Jordan Groshans will touch them all of the Western Metal Supply Company building. Wow. That was an impressive swing because that was out of the strike. That was high. It was 95 up out of the strike zone, but he's quick enough and strong enough to get a, get the bat to that. 95 neck high. David, let me look at this pitch. Yes, it's middle, middle, but wow. Dropped the head right on there. Nice level swing. Where'd you say he had a home run? At the National Showcase, Perfect ah. Games National Showcase in a game as well. He was the first, hit it over that green monster in left field at JetBlue Park, the spring training home of the Red Sox. Did I read in one of the stories leading up to this that there were only two home runs here for this game prior to tonight? Well, if you look like back Joey, on the history uh, of this game. It was Joey. Uh, you know, Joey Gallo Joey hit Gallo. one onto the grass out in, in right center field. Oh, um, there's many than the nine years here. Right, I believe that may be the only one. In, in the nine years here if there's another I don't recall it but in the history of this game homers have not been prevalent let alone a pair in the game because we still talk about Joe's I mean we still talk about that one. he hit it up on the grass I think they measured it 447 with a wooden bat with a wooden bat as a 17 year old Wow and they said at that point he may hit some homers in the big leagues in fact it was the seventh longest home run ever for Petco Park <laughs> big leaguers and everything else See that scout's mind right there. See the stuff he remembers. Hunter Watson out of Pottsboro, Texas. Texas A&M commit as he fouls it off. So MLB, PG working together. There may or may not be some fun stuff going on this fall that could test out the young people that could own the future of the game. Ooh, some ways is that a to, tease? Some ways to pick up the pace of this game. That'd be cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, listen, I, I, I think if there's ever a testing ground, if you will, would be here. I mean, we keep hearing about Commissioner Manfred and, and Tony Petiti and those in the commissioner's office of wanting to do certain things that may sound a little crazy. Well, why not try it at the at this level or whichever age group to see if it works and people like it? Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Noah Naylor is being pinch hit for, but we've got to congratulate him for his defensive work. Our Rawlings Gold Glove defensive plays of the game. and. We're going to hold off because we have to tell you about the man who is swinging a bat for him. He works very well behind the plate, too, out of Louisiana. Christopher Willis fouls that one back to the screen. Number one glove of pro players, Rawlings, the mark of a pro. David, you enjoyed his work behind the plate tonight. Oh, oh yes, and it showed the athleticism we've always talked about with Naylor. You know, how quickly he gets rid of the ball, how quickly he found that ball in the dirt and made a strong throw. Athleticism, catchers, it's, it, you know, it's a big deal. I don't know what Dave Valley said about that being an uh, ex-catcher, but that <laughs> throw out with a pitch inside with the batter blocking him, that was impressive. West squad leading it three to nothing. They're looking to add on Christopher Willis. Left-handed hitting catcher hits it a mile high to the left side. Kendall Logan Simmons steps back into foul territory. The pride of Macon, Georgia makes the play for the second out of the inning. 
Well, you're right. Why not test the future with the future? And if you're going to be uh, a little bit edgy in the things you'd like to try, if you're the commissioner and there's nothing wrong with having unique ideas, let the young people see if they like it. Yeah. Yeah. If I, I mean, you know, I know that the, 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 I guess the testing ground has been the Arizona Fall League once it, you know, pro ball or the minor leaguers going uh, out to Arizona in the fall. Want to know the count to Nicholas Northcutt, the Vandy commit, one of many, as we told you, one of eight. That one misses outside. Evo Shield Canes, his travel club, an oft mentioned club with regard to success. And they've had some really good rosters. He's a number three third baseman in the United States. Rolls that one out toward third. A lighter, thank you. Oh, wait, we're not letting you go just yet. As that one is thrown away. North cut will reach on an errant throw from Simmons. That gives me a chance to tell you about Nick Northcutt, by the way, whose sister sang the national anthem. That he's the only, and he'll tell you, non-musical man in the family. Both his parents are professional musicians, and both are part of the Dayton Philharmonic. And he gets to stand on the field for a bit longer because of this high toss. Strong throw. Just got underneath it. Father's a professor of music as well. Dayton Philharmonic. Preston Hartzell. We'll stay artsy, okay? We'll stay artsy. This is a young man who also had Corona Del Mar High School. You know, there's a very successful women's dance team, and they support all the athletes in different sports. He is in the boys' dance team. They went ahead and built one together there, and Preston's the, uh, the leader of uh, Bro Kessis. And uh, instead of the female, Just the Bro Kessis. He was dancing around when he won the home run derby. Yeah, he so was dancing dance around. Team. He's not shy about it either. He'll tell you, yes, I do, and I enjoy it, and I like it. And I like it a lot. He's He's been a very busy baseball player lately. Florida travel ball, he travels back and plays for them some. But he'll tell you, he can dance. He swings right through that one. Al Leiter's with us. USC, right? He's staying local. USC. USC. That's exactly right. Very impressive all, all the way around. The, the, just I, we don't even really secondhand uh, talk about it. He's a big guy, 93, 95, 98 miles an hour. Two-seam fastball misses outside. From Lenaris Torres Jr., Lenny Torres, just 16 years old, nine months. Working out of the stretch. And the count is three and two. Torres involved in the community a lot. Matter of fact, his heart beats for, for animals. And works at animal shelters, will go in there and do a job that's quite thankless if you think about it. He'll go in there and clean cages. And so who knows where his future leads, but we know his heart in the right place. And those have turned out to many times be our best friends, our pets, and he likes to help those in need. Run on the move, and he's got a fastball that'll help St. John should he make it there. Al Leiter, thank you very thank much. Thank you.